Hey everyone, welcome back to Linux Network. In today's video, we're diving into something a bit serious and it affects a good number of Linux users. If you've been exploring Linux, you may have heard of the Deep In Desktop Environment, also called DDE. It's one of the most beautiful and modern looking desktops out there. Many people love it for how polished and user-friendly it looks, kind of like macOS. But recently, OpenSUSE, a major Linux distro, made a decision to completely remove Deep In Desktop from their community repositories. And the reason? Security concerns. And not just small ones. We're talking about serious issues that could potentially put your system at risk. So, let's break it down. What happened? What did OpenSUSE drop Deep In? And what does it mean for you? Let's get into it. Before we dive into the drama, let's first understand the players here. OpenSUSE is a well-known community-driven Linux distribution. It's backed by a company called SUSE, which is based in Germany and has been around for decades. Think of OpenSUSE as a reliable, secure and professional Linux distro. It's especially popular among developers, sysadmins and users who want something powerful but stable. There are two main versions. Leap, which is more stable and updated less often, and Tumbleweed, which is rolling release and gets the latest software updates. The cool thing about OpenSUSE is that it gives users a lot of choice, including different desktop environments like KDE Plasma, GNOME, XFCE and up until now, Deepin Desktop. Now, if you've never tried Deepin before, here's a quick intro. The Deepin Desktop environment, it's developed in China and is the main feature of the Deepin Linux distribution. It looks clean, polished and has a lot of animations, rounded corners and effects that make it feel modern. In fact, some people switch to Deepin just because it looks better than other desktops. It has its own app launcher, settings panel, file manager and so on, all custom design. And honestly, it looks great. But behind that pretty interface, there is a different story, one that's been causing headaches for developers and security teams. So what exactly happened? On May 10th, 2025, the OpenSUSE team officially announced that they're dropping deep in desktop from their community repositories. That means you can't easily install it anymore from the official OpenSUSE sources. And the reason they gave it's pretty serious. Security concerns and poor maintenance. First, security issues. There have been multiple problems in how Deepin handles DBus and Pulkit, which are important systems in Linux. DBus is how apps talk to each other in Linux. Polkit, short for policy kit, handles permissions, like what programs are allowed to do things as root. In the past, Deepin had major bugs in these areas. In 2017, the file manager's DBus service could be taken over by any users. In 2019, any app could register a DBus service, no restrictions. In 2023, Deepin could load unsafe config files, again putting the system at risk. But the final straw was something that OpenSUSE called a smuggled package. So back in 2021, one of the Deepin maintainers added a package called Deepin Future Enable into OpenSUSE community repo. Sounds innocent, right? Well, this package included a license agreement screen, and if you clicked accept, it would automatically install extra files onto your system. But not just any files. These were unverified DBus configuration files and Polkit policy files. And here is the problem. These were added outside of OpenSUSE's normal security review process. Basically, it bypassed the system that checks packages for safety. That's a huge red flag. Imagine installing an app that quietly messes with system permissions in the background without any proper review. That's not how things are supposed to work in a secure Linux distribution. OpenSUSE devs found out about this in early 2025 and that was it. They decided they can no longer trust the Deepin desktop team to follow the rules. So, what does this mean for you? If you're using OpenSUSE Leap 15.6, the Deepin Future Enable package will be removed, but the rest of the Deepin will remain for now. Tumbleweed, or the upcoming Leap 16, no Deepin desktop at all. It's completely gone from the official community repos. Now, technically, you can still try to install Deepin manually or from other sources. But OpenSUSE has made it very clear. You do this at your own risk. We do not recommend using Deepin Desktop. This isn't just a Linux drama story. This highlights why security and transparency are so important in the open source world. When you use Linux, you're putting a lot of trust in the people who package and maintain your software. 
If someone adds a backdoor or skips a review process or pushes insecure code, that trust is broken. And OpenSUSE is one of the few distros that takes these things very seriously. They've had years of patience with Deepin's issues, but eventually they had to say enough is enough. This also shows how open source projects can fail, not because of lack of futures, but because of poor maintenance and bad practices. Here is the big question, should you still use Deepin Desktop? Well, if you're in a distro that still supports it, like Arch, via Aur, Debian or Deepin Linux itself, it's technically still an option. But you need to be aware. It may not be actively reviewed for security, it may not follow best practices, and you'll be on your own if something breaks. If you love the Deepin look, consider alternatives like KDE Plasma with a Deepin team, Cinnamon or GNOME with custom tweaks. They're safer, better maintained, and gives you a similar user experience without the risk. At the end of the day, Linux is about choice, but with that choice comes responsibility. OpenSUSE made a bold move by removing Deepin Desktop and honestly it was the right call. So whether you're a new Linux user or a long time distro hopper, always remember. Look for actively maintained desktop environments. Stick to packages that go through proper review. And never install something just because it looks pretty. Do your research first. And as always, if you found this video useful, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.